a butterfly flutters through the blue sky, dancing along with a gentle warm breeze, so innocent and carefree it puts my mind and heart at complete ease. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today's video is in collaboration with April. I hope that you can go and check her channel out. She's a lovely and talented YouTuber. I'm going to leave the link to her collab video and her channel in the description box. So be sure to check it out once you're done with this video. So as you saw today from the thumbnail, I have three butterfly DIYs for you to enjoy. For the first project, you're going to need these tumble tower wooden blocks and we're going to stick them together using hot glue. You can use a combination of E6000 and hot glue if you want them to be extra strong. Then you want to head on to your search engine and type in something like vintage backgrounds or shabby chic vintage backgrounds and print that out. So I've just got an inkjet printer and this is just paper. So we're basically going to cut this and stick it down using some Mod Podge just to cover these blocks. So this is how it looks now, pretty cute right? Then we can go over it again with some mud podge and it's up to you if you'd like to use matte or gloss, I'm going to use matte. The next thing you want is some wire, I've got some thin wire here, I do have thicker ones but I kind of felt like thinner ones might work better with this project and I'm going to take my pliers and cut several of these at various lengths. Then you're going to straighten your wires out and we're going to hot glue them on our block and just arrange them how you like. Okay, so once you have your structure looking something like this, you're going to do the last step which is taking your butterflies now I have this I purchased um, from the works but you can just print your own butterflies off the internet onto some card so I'm going to pop these out and then all we're simply going to do is stick them on to the top of the wires I do recommend like I'm trying to go for a vintage style so I'm sticking with vintage butterflies and I also recommend going for different sizes and different butterflies all together so you've got a nice variation going. So decide where you'd like each butterfly and then apply a small amount of hot glue in the centre and then just stick that on to your wire. And that's it, I love how they wobble, isn't that just so fun? I also recommend sticking them at an angle and changing it up just to keep it looking interesting. The second DIY is going to be like a thrift flip, so I found this in the thrift store and I'm going to give it a makeover. I'm going to start by opening all of this up and we're going to remove the backing. Then I'm going to remove these and I'm also going to remove this and then what I'm going to do is cut a white strip of card so to the same size as this but just white. Now I am using these butterfly wall stickers and you want to make sure that you have a size that's going to be able to show through the glass, so the little frames here. And the other thing that we have to be careful with is making sure that we centre the butterflies so you can see here 
I'm going to try to use this as a template. So I'm going to go with this butterfly here. Got to be really careful when removing these because sometimes they can tear at the wings. And I like these because they pop a little bit. They like 3D. So I'm just placing it over so I can kind of get an estimate. I'm going to leave my finger here. Remove that. And try to stick it down directly. And that seems to be working. So I'm just going to carry that on now with the other two butterflies. going to bring your frame back and we're going to turn it around get your paper with the butterflies and then you're going to place it inside the frame and then we're going to close all of these backings and then there you go second DIY done let's move on to the third now for the third and final DIY you're going to need a mason jar so I'm just going to remove what's inside and it's completely down to you if you want to paint or cover your lid I'm going to keep it like this because I like this vintage look and then you're also going to need some material I got this from Poundland it was a fat quarter so I've already used it you can see for a previous DIY last year and all you're going to do is basically cut a small bit so you cover the lid area. So what we're going to do is have the lid go on top and then a little bit of material coming down like this. So I do suggest actually putting it on because that way it's easier to cut. You can see how much material you actually want on there. Once you've done that you're going to take some moss and we're going to just line the bottom of our mason jar. I got this dried bit of plant or flower from my garden and I'm going to add some colour to it with this sponge brush and my acrylic paint. So we're just going to dab it on. Now I'm going to set that to dry. I'm also going to use this foam moss ball and I also have more of these dried bits from my garden that I'm going to hot glue on to here. Actually I found that it's easier just to make a hole with my scissors and then just poke it inside the hole. I'm going to add a bit of white colour and contrast and I'm going to clip these with my pliers and again we're going to just poke it through the foam. I'm also going to take some of these berries and again do the same thing, just poke some holes into here and we're going to pop them in. Okay, so now I've just placed everything inside. I really like that. I think it looks like real lavender. And then finally, you're going to take a twig or a stick and a butterfly. This is a sticker. You can print one out if you don't have one. And then you're going to hot glue it to your stick. This has self-adhesive little sticky backing here. So I don't need to hot glue it. I'm just going to place him on the twig there. Then we're going to put this inside the mason jar and attach the lid with the material and we're done. So here's a look at all three DIYs starting with the first one and then the second this is how it looked before and then this is how it looked after. I absolutely love this transformation and then the third one 
please do let me know which one of these are your favorites in the comments below i hope that you have enjoyed watching don't forget to leave me a thumbs up make sure you subscribed and thanks for watching take care bye whoops